Hey everybody, welcome back to the Kingdom Hearts All in One series. This time we are going to be conquering Floor 5. And this is going to be Monstro. So, let's get to it. And we ain't got to worry about a boss fight after this one. We're just, we're just going to do... Since we're done with this... This one, we're just gonna go straight to uh, watch the cutscene to go to the floor. This will actually be the last world that we won't be. We won't have a boss fight after exiting. In the next couple ones, we will be fighting bosses. Six or balls, seven balls. Yeah, we won't have an exit. We won't have a, a non-violent exit until floor nine after this. First key card. Alright. Let's take a look at the world map. Ooh. Not that many rooms. But anyway, did pick up the the enemy cards from Agrabah. So the green one increases healing healing abilities. Pretty straightforward. The air soldier allows you to reload while in motion. Can be pretty useful. Three reloads. The healing the healing was only one reload. The bandit makes your first strike as powerful as a combo finish. Can be very useful. One one reload. Then Fat Bandit, you uh, if you hit somebody from behind, it deals more damage to them. Two reloads, so it can be useful. We did go over too far, yeah. And I did unlock some new slaves. Yeah, there we go. Lethal Flame or Lethal Frame. So to a stop to attack cards and then tornado arrow gravity and a summon card we don't have arrow yet so we can't even use that one yet all right looks good now we are going to be making a second deck because the lethal frame is the is the uh Here's what I'm gonna make yet. I wanna get some higher attack. Uh higher attack um stops. Cause I want at least I want at least five yeah, we're gonna put at least five stops in here. Let's 
Yeah, we could probably do with four too. Now we're going to put five stops with keyblades. Is this going to? So is this? We're not even going to. It's going to set up. It's just going to go straight through. So once we get that, we're going to put in those, and then we're also going to put in some heels. So. Then we will probably put in because that'll allow us to get all of our magic cards back. So I want to get a higher, want to get a higher ether. So we'll be probably going to the Moogle room and finding some. Uh, as we got over six thousand Moogle points, we're going to get some higher. Actually, no, we can't put that. That's just a regular ether. We need to unlock our our Mega Ether first for that. So, but we are going to go into the Moogle room and try to get some higher stop cards. So, let's clear out this room and then we'll uh, make a save room, a bounty room, and then a Moogle room. Now, the Keyblade for this level is the Wishing Star. There is no uh, extra friend card in this one. Just down and goofy. Yeah! Yeah! Run! Yeah. 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 
turned out that it's as good as the Olympia, so... Same as Blizzard Raid, just fire. You just have to use a fire at the beginning instead of a blizzard. Alright, let's, let's go here. We're gonna make us a Moogle room. We got a bunch we got a bunch of cards I need to sell anyways. Instead of 
throwing out a bunch of cards. That's our uh, our first key door. What's this one? What's this? What's this? What's this? Ah, okay, that's our our bounty door, our golden bounty door. There we go. Harvest everything out of this room. Before we... in the middle. We are going to uh, sell cards first. Not too bad. I'm trying to get a wishing star. There we go. Let's look at the wishing star now. Our Olympus is C plus. Wishing star is only C, so now we're not making a deck out of them. Uh, so I'll key blaze. Alright, now let's see, we needed We needed some higher stops. do horror farm on my own, but we will have Okay, we'll have to fix 
time I level up, we'll have to, uh... I'll increase my CP so we can have a better... better cure. But anyway, let's, uh... Go through this door. See what's, uh, what's going on next. I jump.
punch up for the acid though, because it will hurt you. Fight him once. That means we gotta fight something else in the third room. Third key card. Uh, let's see what the old. Let's see what that uh, parasite cage does. It's a one-use card. It'll nullify the enemy card. Yeah, 
So far, it's going to be 18, 23, 16, 24, 18, 23, yep, 16, oh, 16, that's 20, and that's going to be 14, and that'll be 18. Yeah, we need to... Can't be taking anything lower than a four. Okay, make sure it is. Yeah! 
looks like we just have to beat a bunch of heartless wall. Cutscenes, and that'll be an episode. So I actually I just said I don't really remember about that. I said go on. Mmm. Just bits and pieces. Maybe you could try telling us some more stuff about her. Who knows? It might even help you remember other things. Well, uh. She was quiet, and always drawing. When we'd go to the beach, she'd draw a picture instead of swimming. Sometimes she'd draw us, too. She was really good. Wait. <laughs> I remember Riku and I fighting over who she'd draw next. But one day, she was gone, just like that. I think the grown-ups knew the reason. They might even have tried to explain some of it to me. But I was little. I probably didn't understand what was happening. I remember crying after she was gone. But that's all. I still don't remember her name. Oh, I bet you'll remember it in no time. Huh. <sighs> I must point out, Sora keeps remembering things instead of forgetting them. It seems to me, forgetting things may be the only way to reach the memories buried deeper down inside each of us. So we should forget in order to remember? Like those guys said, 
our most precious memories lie so deep in our hearts that they're out of reach. All that stuff about finding, being losing, and losing being finding? I didn't get it at first, but maybe this is what they meant. Or Sora, I think I'm a little jealous of you. How come me and Donald and Jiminy aren't remembering more of the stuff from our memories? Come on, Goofy! Let's get going! We gotta forget things faster! Just as we intended. We'll continue with our plan. Let's see how far this group will go. You had your fun on the first floor. So this time, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm not going to just give it to him. Don't break him. Well... Do I detect a soft spot? I'm not gonna break the toy. I'm not dumb. Don't forget. Sora is the key. We need him if we're going to take over the organization. I know that you're in on it too. But keep it under your hood. At least until the time is right. You would have been wise to have done the same, Lark Scene. Oh, it's a conspiracy. So, Sora, did anything back there help you remember your friend's name? Uh, her name's the only thing I can't seem to remember. You gotta try. Hurry up and remember it. <laughs> All right, now we're on the entrance hall of the sixth floor. So now we do, we know that there is a conspiracy within the organization 13. So I am going to go back into Monstro and get the Search Ghost card. There is also a guy that we didn't see. We didn't open up a lot of a lot of rooms. The uh, it was his name is called Tornado Step. So I'll be getting his uh, card and the Search Ghost card. Huh. So we have one. We've got one world left to do, and it's Hollow Halloween Town. We will probably end up farming the Keyblade we get there. I'm pretty sure the pumpkin head keyblade is stronger than the Olympia. So who knows? Could be wrong. I'm also gonna get me some more stronger stop cards for our boss killer deck. And I will be showing that off when we fight the boss that's after Conquer's respite of the sixth floor. So everything's going pretty good so far, so we'll save. And I will see you guys in the next episode.